What's up y'all, my name is Clark Hazla, better known as Adventure Athlete, and welcome back to another video. Yeah. Today I'm gonna be getting a chance to show y'all how to create your own homemade spats for your cleats. Let's get it. I'd like to thank Glasses USA for sponsoring today's video. By cutting up the middleman, GlassesUSA.com offers prescription glasses and sunglasses up to 70% off retail prices. GlassesUSA.com was kind enough to not only send over three glasses, but also my favorite pair of Oakley glasses. One of my favorite things about GlassesUSA.com is that they offer over 6,000 styles of eyeglasses and sunglasses, including in-house brands like Muse and Alima E, and designer brands like Ray-Ban, Oakley, Gucci, and many more. You can add any type of prescription to almost any pair of frames, including sunglasses, glasses and blue light blocking glasses. I'm a very big fan of the blue light blocking glasses because of all the work that I do on the computer and because of the variety of cool styles that GlassesUSA.com has to offer. Best of all, a complete pair of glasses, frames, and lens starts at only $30. Click my affiliate link down in the description below where you guys can find my glasses online at GlassesUSA.com and sign up for 65% off your first pair. All right, y'all, so everything you need for your homemade cleats bats are a pair of cleats and a pair of socks. Now, this is a photo of me back in 2013, and let me tell you, boy, it was swaggy back in the day, and this is when I first invented the socks bat. I'm gonna tell you all right now, the all white sock is probably the best look out there besides the black. And if I could start this whole video over, I would not be using the Nike Elite because of the black splotches on the bottom of the sock. So up next, we're gonna be cutting out one third of the bottom of the sock. This is because we still want some of that wrappage around the upper by the laces of the cleat once you put the spat over your cleat. And then we're gonna be cutting out the heel so that the back cleats are still gonna be able to be intact with the ground and they're not just gonna be on top of the sock, right? So as y'all can see, now it's time to really just get rid of all this little extra sockage here. And uh, yeah, like I mentioned, I really wish I didn't use a Nike Elite, but I do like the design on the back of the socks, which is why I chose to use the Nike Elite for this video purpose. And uh, now that I got my nice handy dandy scissors, let's get into cutting this thing. So right off the bat, I feel like I cut the sock a little too short. I wish I had some more sockage over the upper where the laces are. And uh, yeah, I kind of struggled and it's a little not as even as I wish it was. Now coming into the heel again, I wish I didn't use a Nike Elite because there is some of that leftover black stitching. And uh, it looks good, but it's just not to the standard that I really like for this video. So that is all you really need to do for making your own custom socks bat. Now it's time to test them on the cleats. And again, it's gonna be a little bit of trial and error with the length of your sock depending on your foot. And uh, now getting on to the trying on phase. Biggest advice is always put on your spats before your cleats. I've tried to put on my cleats and then my spats and I'm gonna tell y'all right now, it is a disaster. So always put on your spats before your cleats and then now we're gonna be getting a chance to dive in on how to put on your spats efficiently. If y'all have spats, you already know, but uh, you gotta make sure then you pull down your spat and wrap that bottom part of the sock under the cleat. So again, we got that back heel cleat action that's gonna make contact with the turf and not be stuck in your sock. Again, here's me trying to hide that black stitching in the Nike Elite sock. It didn't turn out to the best of my liking, but as y'all can see here, this is what it, the side profile looks like. I think if I was to do this uh, video over again, one thing I would also change is I might not cut so high up on the heel of the sock. So then it only just like has a little bit of room for those back cleats. Kind of looks a little funky to be honest. But as you guys can see here, this is kind of the look I was going for. I just wish the heel would go down a little more. Um, but that Nike Elite in the back uh, of the sock, I think is super, super dope. But again, I really think now looking back at this video, just an all white and an all black sock would be super cool. Um, I'm now curious, have you guys ever heard of the socks bat before? Um, I do feel like I am the inventor of this. Back in 2013, your boy was rocking socks pads. Um, I'm gonna be doing these in future videos again. I really feel like this first socks bat in a long time was kind of trash. All right, first of all, I was the inventor of the socks bat before any of these other companies started making their own spats. Second of all, you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you. I showed y'all how to make sock spats, but I didn't actually want to give away my tips and tricks, but I am going to give you guys a little sneak peek on how your spats should really look. Check this out. So for everyone that's not a day one and they clicked off the video, y'all, you got to make a very small incision here on the heel and you wanna make sure you're leaving a lot of extra sock to cover the upper of the laces on your cleats. And I'm gonna tell y'all right now, the all white look is the best look. You can also get the double Nike swoosh with your socks that you're wearing underneath that are actually in your shoes. 
but look at that fellas like oh my gosh like these are even worn socks these aren't even brand new so the white don't match looks fresh ah yes sir and like i was saying three i got some really big news i'm moving overseas in two days from when this video comes out so for those of you guys that did make it this far in the video you guys are my day ones do me a favor and leave a comment down below hashtag overseas and i'm gonna make sure i get the chance to reach out to y'all personally in the comment section and also don't forget to check out the link down in the description below for glassesusa.com and uh with that big news coming soon you guys are going to be the real ones that are going to be getting the chance to hear about it as soon as possible because i'm moving to mexico i'll catch up with you on the next video yeah.